Okay, this is a basic example of how to create a GitHub app from a manifest. We've got a locally stored file. We just need a URL for that. So this is just an example in plain uh, HTML. We have uh, created a GitHub app from this manifest setup where we have the manifest completed. So you fill in the name that you default want to use. You fill in the URL that it will use, uh, all the events that it will trigger on. So the webhooks will be created for this GitHub app with these settings. Uh, and you can figure all the stuff. I've made it, uh, in this case a private uh, app so we can create that inside of our organization and for the organization i'm actually using uh, my own devops uh, what is it uh, my username dash uh, actions dash demo it's not in the manifest but this is part of the url that you post this one to when you submit this one uh, you go through an OAuth uh, flow uh, where you actually authenticate with your own user account so in this case this is my uh, github handle this is the default app name, and that's of course, and this needs to be unique worldwide, uh, worldwide if you do this against github.com, which I'm doing. Um, and you can see I've already uh, tested with some settings. Uh, let's make this one my Octo app. So it uh, starts at the, at the top later on. You create this one and just ingest the manifest. It creates the uh, my Octo app for you. Uh, and then it sends you back to a, a redirect URL with a specific code. And that code can then be used to download uh, the information for the app. What I need is the app ID. I'm displaying the name just for uh, displaying that. So we know that it uh, actually work with the name that we use and we need the PEM key in here so we can copy and paste that code over, store that data somewhere safe. And then when we go over to our own list of GitHub apps in the organization that I was posting to and I refresh this page, you can see that we have a My Octo app in here. And if I add it, you can see that it was just created by me. So that is also stored in the audit log. It has the name that we've given it. Uh, I didn't give it a specific description, but you could add that. And all the URLs that we used from the manifest are in here as well, including an active webhook. Uh, this is the webhook URL that we'll post to. Of course, this one will fail. This needs to be something uh, that you can work with in production, but this is just a, a short demo. Uh, you can see that there's a private key uh, with that um, app stored as well. So this is the private key that we just retrieved. And with that private key, we can do uh, like we can then make all the calls to that app. If you want to follow along or have an example already, go to this GitHub uh, repository. I'll share the link in the, in the comments as well, uh, and you can find all the files there that I've just gone through, so you can set it up uh, on your own end as well. Good luck. So, how does this work under the covers? Well, we start with the index HTML. This is where we add the uh, information that we need uh, and we post the um, manifest data that we have to the GitHub URL. In this case, you can see the highlighted uh, part here, which is creating the app inside of my organization. So this is creating it on the organization level. We send in the manifest as JSON from the index HTML where we have set things up like this is the URL that uh, the app will have. These are the rights and these are the webhooks that we want to configure. We post that over to the GitHub URL. GitHub then does a verification dance. Are you already authenticated against GitHub? Uh, in the video, you see that I already am, and, but it does uh, give me an extra uh, authentication challenge for my two-factor setup, just to make sure that I'm authorized to do that, for authenticated to do that. And then it does an authorization check. Do I have the correct rights at the organization level in this case to create that app for us? If that is okay, then it returns you to the redirect URL that was in the JSON that you posted into it. And you can see that in the video as well. And then in this case points back to my local host, which will also work because it happens inside of my browser. We'll post back uh, to the redirect HTML that I have. And it will uh, uh, send you there with a code inside of the request parameters. That code can then be used with another post back to the GitHub API to uh, convert that code into an actual uh, uh, data that you need to uh, run as the app. This call back to the API doesn't need to be against an organization, it's just an app manifest uh, set up with that specific code. That code is only valid for an hour, so you need to complete this entire dance within the hour, but since it's almost instant, that is very straightforward to do. You can then uh, retrieve from the uh, body that you get back from this URL, the application ID and the PEM key. You can store that somewhere safe. And with that information, uh, you can then uh, act as the app against this organization. 
So there you have it.